you know, I typically will introduce in a first or second year writing course at the university, ethos, logos, pathos, kairos, exigence, these terms that really help us not only produce pieces of discourse or um, just piece, multimodal pieces, whatever it is that I might, we might be producing, but also use those terms as a way of engaging students and understanding what they were reading and how rhetoric was being employed and deployed by the sources that they might be um, investigating in their own work. And, you know, I, to say that that was a revelation to me and that they really valued it, um, maybe sort of selling short the power of rhetoric and rhetorical training, um, at the university, but I think one of the reasons I was really, um, that came as a surprise to me was because most of the learners in the MOOC, most of the writers were not college age. Many of them, most of them were much older than our traditionally aged college students at Ohio State. And many of them held, uh, the majority of them already held college degrees and many of them held advanced degrees. And so it kind of reaffirmed for me the value of rhetoric as a, as a kind of point of departure for thinking about writing, regardless of the, um, you know, sort of current status of the writer, right, as a professional, a practicing writer, or an aspiring college student. And um, I have to say that was very gratifying, too, to find that, right, that they did find this kind of fundamental element of our instruction for our typical, you know, sort of face-to-face -face, um, or hybrid or online writing classes, an integral element of their learning.